Hello. Hi. Um, I'd like to apply for a ceasefire. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Is this for uh, you or a family member or a, or a friend? No, it's it's for Gaza. Yeah. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to 2C TV. This is a video we found. Uh, this is actually Eli Steinman, who actually lives in Hollywood in California. So very brave in the land of the anti-Semitic liberals. <laughs> and he actually has, uh, decided to make this uh, uh, political sketch uh, and just watch it. We'll react as we go. And obviously we have to pause every few seconds because of copyright issues. Apologies, but we'll react together. Let's go. We, uh, we got a lot of folks coming in here asking about those. So can I have one? Uh, let me check. Okay, we do have a promotion right now for a two-month ceasefire in exchange for all the kidnapped hostages. Yeah, no. Okay, were you were you looking for something uh, a little more long-term? Yeah, exactly, like something a little more long-term. Okay. We have a very reasonable 30-year fixed ceasefire in exchange for all, uh, all the hostages and... Uh, <laughs> all the hostages now. Thing is... This is funny, and you have to laugh during dark times, but there's actually an element of truth to it, because if you talk to all these, a lot of the, uh, the so-called pro-Palestinian protesters, if you actually talk to them in a very simple way and ask them, okay, would you condemn what uh, happened on 7th of October, or uh, would you actually be willing to do a ceasefire if everybody's released, they'll go, oh, that's not really the priority. That's what they say at best surrender of the terrorist organization Hamas from Gaza. No, 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 I want to end the occupation, free Palestine, globalized intifada, how much for that? Oh, you got expensive taste there, pal. Where, do you know where you're looking to do all this? From, from like the river to the sea? Ish. Yeah, just Ish. <laughs> from, you know, from the river to the sea, ish. Taking a quick, uh, quick gander at your account balance, uh, that's not gonna happen. Are you serious right now? You are what we like to call, uh, morally bankrupt. Well, how much to end the genocide in Gaza? Okay, yeah, so that's the thing. A lot of folks have been getting confused about this. Uh, not actually a genocide. Can I at least get, like, an advance on some thinly veiled anti-Semitism disguised as social activism? Yep. Oh, absolutely spot on. Absolutely true. Oh, I mean, we can loan you some, but trust me, bud, you're going to end up paying for it later. Okay, fine. I'll take it. Thanks, Bank Daddy. Thank you for banking with us. You have yourself a great day and enjoy being on the wrong side of history. No problem. <laughs> enjoy being on the wrong side of history. That, that was the end of the clip. It's funny because uh, there's another thing. If you talk to some of these activists uh, who are actually, yeah, they're social activists. They're, they're hiding. We're just social activists. We just care about humanitarian issues. None of these people cared. Uh, about uh, what's going on uh, in Yemen with the ordinary people being targeted by the Houthis. Nobody cared about what's going on with the Iranian people, with the Islamic occupiers in Iran doing what they're doing to the Iranians. Nobody cared about the Uyghurs in China. And suddenly they all come out saying, oh yeah, Gaza, which river, which sea? Can you answer that question? Of course they can't. They don't even know where it is. That's another thing. If you, obviously during this uh, funny thing, they, they were talking about what if we do a 30-day fixed deal or something, uh, all the hostages free? And eh, no. There's another question you could ask them. Where we could do a ceasefire. There's a condition. Wipe out Hamas or kick them out. Get rid of them. Eliminate them. And then everybody could live freely ever after, right? Just say, give that as an option, hypothetically. They will still say no. Because they, in fact, supported and celebrated what happened on the 7th of October. Not every single person, by the way, goes to the protest. I'm talking about these social activists. They know. It's the same thing with some of the, the a lot of the uh, ordinary civilians in Gaza who were dancing around on the 7th of October, and now they're crying, saying, oh, we effed around and we found out. Yes, you did.